Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to repair a lawn tractor that has an engine oil leak. And more specifically, I'll be doing this on a Kohler engine here. Now the symptoms on this tractor that shows there's an oil leak is that from time to time there will be smoke coming from the muffler. And what's happening is oil is leaking from the valve cover and going directly on the muffler underneath it and smoking up. And this is the actual symptom you're going to get when your valve cover leaks. You're going to see smoke rising from the muffler like this. And the smoke is caused by the oil drips dripping right on that hot muffler. Now when you do start the tractor again after fixing the valve cover, you will get a bit of smoke that is just the residual oil burning off the muffler from before. So this is a common issue on these Kohler engines. Just follow my step-by-step -step video here. You're going to see that it's quite easy to repair that. Now the first thing you want to do is remove the hood from your tractor. Depending on the tractor you have, it will be slightly different on this one here. I just have to move the hood like this, then pull up. And at this point here, I'm just going to leave the hood on its side over here. And here's a front view of the cover that I need to reseal. To start with, I'm going to lift up this plastic shroud. And to do that, you're going to need to remove the four eight millimeter bolts on the side of the cover. And I'll be using my quarter inch impact. If you don't have an impact, you can just use a ratchet and a socket. Now I'll lift up the oil dipstick here a bit and just lift up the cover, everything will come off. And in the meantime, I'm just going to put the dipstick back. And it's a good thing I'm doing this repair today because you can see all the debris, it's full of rocks inside the engine. More than likely brought in by rodents. And when you have the cover off, you want to check all the wiring that goes to the ignition module to make sure they're not chewed up as well. And first of all, I'm just going to clean out all the rocks here. I'm just going to remove the hose from the cover here. And then you've got a bolt here. And there's another one here. And actually there's a seventh bolt down here. And actually there's a few extra bolts, one here and one there. Now since the bracket underneath is still holding the cover quite tight, I'm going to loosen the muffler bolts. And you'll need a T45 Torx bit for that. And you're better off to take the bolts right off because it totally releases the pressure from the cover. And then you can take the cover right off. Now what you want to do is reach in with a rag and wipe the oil. So on these engines here, what usually happens is it starts to leak oil at the bottom here. Then it drips on your muffler and you're going to see some smoke come up from time to time, which does alarm some people. So basically that's all that's causing that smoke is oil drops coming out in between the valve cover gasket. And at this point here, you totally want to wipe up where the gasket went. Make sure it is nice and dry. And make sure everything's good in there. Now what I'm going to do is just carefully remove that gasket. I will be reusing it. You just want to make sure you don't break it. And I'm just going to go clean this cover with some old fuel that I've saved. And be extremely careful if you use fuel to clean dirty parts. It's extremely flammable. And all I'm using here is a paintbrush today. And you can remove the old RTV silicone using a small wire brush. So at this point, this is clean enough. Don't worry about little residue of the old gasket maker. It's not a big deal. You want this area of the cover here to be nice and clean and dry and not oily. 
And since I'm reusing this gasket, I will wipe up all the oil that's on it. And I'll be using Durco Gasket Maker to apply on the cover. And I'm going to apply a thin film. Now apply your gasket to it. Line up the holes. And now I've applied a thin layer on the engine here as well. And I put a little extra at the bottom because that's where the leaks usually come from. And now you can reinstall the cover. Now I'm using the impact to start them back in but at the low setting. And you want to make sure that you tighten up the cover evenly as well. And I'll do the final tightening by hand with a ratchet. Now I need to install the bottom bolts here that hold the muffler. First here I'm going to tighten up the muffler bolts. And again that's the T45 Torx bit. And I don't have the torque spec, so just put it fairly tight. And I'm going to tighten up the two bolts at the bottom here. They hold the muffler bracket. And by the way guys, when you remove this cover, these are 10 millimeter bolts but the two bolts that hold the muffler onto the head here are 3 8 these two here. Now I'm just going to go around and evenly tighten up the bolts. Again, I don't have the torque spec, so you want it fairly snug, don't overdo it. And now you can insert the vent tube. And I've got all the stones removed from earlier. And now at this stage you're ready to put the cover back on. And now remove the oil dipstick here. Slide that cover right on. Put the oil dipstick back in. And now you need these four shoulder bolts. You have two bolts that go on this side over here. One in here. And then you have one that goes right here as well, and the other one back here. Now I will start them with my impact at the number one setting. Now I'm going to manually go around and hand tighten them with a ratchet. Again, it's an eight millimeter socket for these bolts. And now you can install the hood. On this tractor here, you just slide these bolts back in these grooves here on each side. And that's all there is to this repair. Once you've done this, you're not going to have oil leak from that valve cover gasket anymore. If you do start it up and there is a bit of smoke, it could be some oil residue left from before on the muffler. As you saw in the video, the muffler is right underneath the valve cover. That's why it smokes when that cover starts to leak. And now I'm just going to give this tractor a quick start here to make sure everything runs.
So as you saw in the video guys, it's not that hard to do that repair. Just be patient, take off all the bolts I showed you in the video, clean your parts thoroughly, make sure they're not oily, and apply a good gasket maker on the parts when you reinstall them. If your machine continues to have an oil leak after doing this repair, it's possible that you might need a new head gasket as well. Thanks again for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and have a great day.